Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Superguard, episode 120. Now once again, I haven't uploaded in two freaking days, and I'm really sorry about that guys. But um, yeah, I, I just don't know what's going on with me, I really don't, I don't know why I can't just keep uploading every day. So I'm going to really try my best guys to get back on track. And we've got a really cool episode for you guys today and over the next couple days as well. So let's go ahead and get into some of this awesome news. So first of all, we've got the new Money in the Bank cycle. And we've got Mojo Rolly that I don't think anyone gives a shit about. And I sure as hell don't give a shit about Mojo Rolly. So um, I'm obviously going to go for The Undertaker. And thank goodness it's only 22,000 contracts. Like, that's so cool. I thought it was going to be a lot more... Um, I've already pretty much got that, so we're going to have to go get like 23,000 contracts in 27 days, which is going to be very difficult, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. The next awesome part is the ring domination this week. So it's not just one event card. No, it's two event cards, which is going to be really funny to see how this works. It kicks off in nine hours. In nine hours, it starts. Uh, it starts at ten o'clock my time. Really, really, super god. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, yeah, that's really, really cool that they're they're doing two. So not one, but two, and they tag as well. So that's just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, the um, okay. So yeah, if you guys want to know the cards, I will quickly tell you. Um, where, where are they, where are they, so, obviously, if you guys don't want to know, I, I will, it will spoil, so, so, yeah, okay, um, where was the list, where was the list, okay, 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 so, if you got, yeah, if you don't want to know, mute, um, if you want to know, but it, this is not 100% sure, this is just, once again, what people have told me, because you, they can find it on Reddit, and D2 is pretty much always right on this. So anyway, um, the Elite is Big Show, the Ultimate is Rhino, and the WrestleMania 33 is Ken Shamrock. If he's right, I don't know. Probably is, because most of the time he's right. Um, so yeah, those are the cards, maybe. And let's just get into some Money in the Bank, because I can't obviously play the Ring Domination right now. So uh, yeah, Money in the Bank is what we're going to do. I still have my Brock Lesnar to level up. I still have my Shinsuke Nakamura. I literally couldn't get on the game during the team ring domination. Now, I know people in the team will be like, oh my god, you only got like 11 shards or something. I don't even know how many shards I got, but I didn't get enough at all. But I just wouldn't explain myself. I literally would come onto the game and it would kick me off straight away. And that that happened for like two days. It was so I literally couldn't play. I really literally couldn't play. The ring dot, the team ring dom was driving me crazy. Every time I'd come on, it would just say, well, you know, uh, it would just kick me off the game, network maintenance shit. And uh, so, yeah, I wasn't able to play. Let's go with this Cedric Alexander against this Baron Corbin. Hopefully, we can get the win there. Hope he can. Um, and yeah, my last video was two days ago, so uh, I feel bad. Oh, no, shit. We, uh, can, we, can we still win this? We'll try. We'll just close the the game and come back on it if we don't win because it's all you know I, I i don't want i don't want my contracts being on an odd number or anything you know <coughs> ocd much <laughs> but yeah um what else what else yeah monday night raw and smackdown the whole um superstar shake up thing it was really weird it had no no storyline to it no no it was i thought i thought it was going to be like a proper draft and i was really excited for that so it was a, a huge letdown. I would go as I'd go as far as saying it was a huge letdown for me. The, both shows were actually still pretty good because it was it was entertaining and fun to see those wrestlers on their different brands. But and you know change that and that was that was good and all. But like it didn't make sense. You know I was so confused watching Monday Night Raw. The, the you know on the the first the first like I was like wait what the fuck? Why is Dean Ambrose? Why is the Miz on here? What? They haven't been dropped. Are they on here? Are they not on here? Are they going to still be, at, you know, uh, is is Dean Ambrose still in a feud with Baron Corbin? And then and then the IC title? I had no idea what the fuck was going on. So that didn't make it any simpler. And then Bray Wyatt comes to Raw and I'm like, but isn't he facing 
Bray, uh, Randy Orton in a House of Horrors match. I, 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 like, you know, I have I no genuinely like no idea what was going on. It was so goddamn confusing. And then on SmackDown, they made things even more confusing when they brought out Kevin Owens and was like, "Oh yeah, Kevin Owens is not actually. It's not. It's not a definite thing. He's on SmackDown. It's going to be the winner of the match at the payback, and then that person will be on Raw, but the title can't be defended." It was just. It was. It was weird. No, I know, I know it did obviously make sense at the end, and I did obviously grasp the whole thing. Yes, I did for people like, oh my god, dude, it wasn't that complicated. No, I did I did obviously understand it after a little bit, and I was like, okay, okay, so that's what they're going to do. But I don't know, it should have, I, I, I would have wanted it to have a little bit more, um, yeah, like a, a proper draft. I know it was never like, it wasn't meant to be a draft, but I, that's, that's what I thought it was going to be, and I got a little bit, I was a bit wrong on that, so... Yeah, that that kind of it was a bit disappointing for me. But apart from that, the whole Raw and SmackDown were good. Um, AJ has stayed on SmackDown. That's probably kind of the biggest news. Uh, Diva wise, Alexa Bliss, Mickey James on Raw, um, and Charlotte uh, on SmackDown with the um, with Tamina as well making her return as well on SmackDown. Um, anything apart from that? Yeah, Bray Wyatt on Raw, The Miz on Raw, Dean Ambrose on Raw, The New Day on SmackDown. Um, the Shining Stars on SmackDown. I know there are loads more, but uh, yeah, Mojo Rolly. No, Mojo Rolly has stayed. Kurt Hawkins on Raw. Uh, Shinsuke stayed on SmackDown. Yeah, that's, that's that. I, I, there are probably still more, obviously, but I just can't think of them right now. Obviously, Kevin Owens to SmackDown, maybe. Um,. Yeah, that's about it, isn't it? About it. Um, anyway, so let's go and finish up with this Money in the Bank game. Let's get our 40 contracts. Let's guaranteed win here because we've got two cards left in on the last game. Um, oh, yeah, quick little, quick little talk about it because I do like to talk about different things on these episodes sometimes. and not always all about Supercard. So I just do want to mention a couple of things. Juventus, Barcelona in the Champions League. 3-0 Juventus. GG, get in. I was I was hoping for a Juventus win because I really don't like Barca. Huge shout out to D2 here. So yes, fuck you D2 because I was right. Monaco beat Dortmund because Monaco are the superior team. So come on Monaco. 1-0 Atletico Madrid against Leicester City. Poor Leicester. But it's only 1-0 against one of the best teams in the world. So Leicester, that was a really good. That was really good. And then Bayern Munich versus Real Madrid, Hull Madrid, they got the win 2-1. That's all my Champions League talk for today, really. But yeah, D2, tell me how you feel about that defeat in Dortmund as well. So, whew, must be painful. But, yeah, contracts. Whew, can I do this? Can I get? It's going to be a lot of contracts. But I do have 27 days to do it. In. It's just, it is a lot of contracts. It is a lot of contracts. It is. And it's a, it's a left arrow. I think I think I wanted a right arrow. No, maybe I'll go for Mojo Rolly. Um, yeah, I did. I did. I did want to. I did. I did. It's the wrong. It's the wrong arrow. No. And apart from that, Brock's an, uh, an up and Nakamura's a down. That's good. That's really good. Okay, that is good. That is really really good. Okay, this card is about a bit more than halfway done, but it's still still quite quite a margin away from it but anyway guys in nine hours and something we'll have some uh ring domination gameplay for you guys i'll be live streaming it probably on twitch um if i don't live stream it tonight i'll live stream it tomorrow because it'll be a it'll be a bit late for me today and depending on what i'm doing tonight i have no idea but um yeah if i don't stream it t tonight it will definitely be streamed tomorrow if not yeah, as I said, if not tonight, tomorrow. Okay, um, repeating myself there. But yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Not too much gameplay in it, but lots of just new stuff right now. And it's exciting stuff because two new event cards, Money in the Bank cycles out, Undertaker's actually pretty cool. Overall, very disappointing that there's a Mojo Rolly in there. I mean, who the fuck wants a Mojo Rolly? I mean, what? Fuck you, Mojo Rolly, winning the fucking Battle Royal. No, I really don't like... Um, Rolly, so yeah, rant, a big rant on him right now, but <laughs> yeah, it was it was a bit of a disappointment, that Battle Royal, I mean, Braun Strowman, and that was, but that attack on, that attack on Roman Reigns on Monday Night Raw, holy shit, 
I want to talk about that really quickly, actually, because it was so good, but so fake. And I don't know why I found it so good, because there was so much. It was so fake. So, okay, a couple things. Obviously, the, th the stretcher, when he, th when, he, when he throws him off the little ledge and he falls down, that's not Roman on the stretcher. Uh, the ambulance tipping over thing, fake, because when he goes around, like, when um, he gets in the ambulance and starts, like, punching him and then gets out of the ambulance and there's the back doors, he doesn't actually close the back doors. And then he goes to the side of the ambulance, closes those doors, and then flips the ambulance. But once the ambulance is flipped, you can tell the, the, the doors at the back have been shut, but they were left open before he tipped the ambulance. That's one. And two, you can clearly tell at one point, he kind of like, he kind of is like lifting it and then kind of like does this, but the ambulance stays exactly on a really weird angle. It's fucking strange. So you, there, was, there was probably a, um, oh, well, I don't know, like a, not, not probably not a crane, but something the other side, like obviously tipping it over something. Obviously, Braun Strowman did not tip an ambulance over, can buy himself. There's just no way. Maybe he could a smaller one, or but there was just no way. The, the way he did it, the, the, there was just no way because the, there was no way. But it was really good at taxi, and I'm so glad that it was. I'm so glad that happened because fuck you, Roman Reigns. I hope you stay injured for fucking months. But uh, no, it was it, it was really it was really cool. Good episode of Raw, and it was a good episode of SmackDown. I know I said I was a bit disappointed, but on the whole, uh, two good episodes of Raw and two good episodes of SmackDown back to back. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do smash a like on this video. Um, tell me what you guys tell me if you guys want to go for any of the Money in the Bank uh, people, uh, either Mojo or Undertaker. I'm gonna go and try. I'm gonna try and go for Undertaker. Really gonna do my best to try and get him. Because I do really, in, I really like the Undertaker. The picture's not actually the best. I wanted to talk about as well. God, this is never done this before. When I say I end an episode, I normally always end it. But now I'm going on a little bit. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this picture. And on the whole, the whole card. It re I know I've mentioned this before, but it really does look so SummerSlamish, doesn't it? Like the whole yellow roller coaster, big shining sun, and it really feels really like SummerSlam posters but anyways um ultimate elite none of those are catalog for me thank goodness all right anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i am gonna end it now i'll see you guys in the next one till then take care and most importantly peace out